Hey guys, Brandon here, and I am back, finally. I know I'm taking a long time to get these videos out, but I'm finally getting them. I'm not in my schedule yet. I'm far from it. I'm still in my, like, uh, my whole sleep schedule where I had my wisdom teeth taken out, and now they're fine, but I'm still on the sleep schedule to where I have to stay up till, like, 7 in the morning because when I had my wisdom teeth taken out, like, the, the couple days after, uh... It would hurt so bad at night that I just couldn't get myself to sleep no matter what. Even with like pain medicine and stuff like that, it didn't really help too much. It just made my sleep schedule flipped around and basically uh, day is night, night is day. Everything is opposite right now and it's just really weird. I went to bed around 7 in the morning, 7.30 this morning and I slept till about 4 or 5 so that's pretty much what I've been going through every day. Uh, I'm trying to flip it around, but even if I stay up all night, that's not going to help. And I actually didn't go to school last Thursday because I just like slept through my alarm clock and I didn't. I just didn't feel like going in <laughs> altogether. It was just a bad day. Uh, but yeah, right now uh, my teeth feel fine. It's just uh, every now and then I just get a weird taste in my mouth just from the the heels or the wounds are still healing. And it just feels weird still touching them with my tongue. Oh yeah, you like that. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's different. That's all I have to say about that. But, uh, this gameplay was about a, a week ago. I was playing with Lady Pulse, I believe. And I think a couple of other people. I'm not too sure. I just remember Lady Pulse and then I think Magic Carp and Sizba is what I call him. His name is like Sis or something. I think the I think the Z is actually silent. He told me, but I don't really care. I call him Sizba. It's funny, but it's just what I call him. I don't know. It's something random. I'm very random when I play Call of Duty. How I say things, and I just kind of say the first thing that pops in my head because I don't talk much, and I try and I try and correct that by just you know talking whatever comes up in my head first, whatever pops up. And uh, right about here, I was at like. 30 kills and I'm like come on let's go for a flawless a 100 plus and I didn't realize how fast uh, that we were actually capturing the hard points because our team well you had like three randoms on our team that were just standing on the hard point the entire time because they knew that nobody was going to come over there and try and challenge them to uh, get off the hard point because I was too busy killing them all and so was, uh, I think Magikarp and Sizba and Lady Pulse got like 7 kills, I believe, if I remember correctly. And I think she was actually following me right here, which is kind of weird. But if you want to see her channel, it should be in the link in the description. She uh, mentioned me, so why not mention her as well. And I don't think I'm going to go through these load stars. No, I'm not, I'm not going to skip through them. I think that some people like the load stars, and then there's other people that just don't like watching them. But in my case... I am a person that likes watching them. If you're not, if the majority isn't, at least once I get enough subscribers that like to comment the crap out of my videos, then uh, I will do like a poll and stuff and see who, like, how many people like seeing the load stars and them kind of kill streaks, like the the warthog, I think it is. No, I don't know what it is, what it's called. I don't use all the score streaks. I mainly I mainly stay um, up against orbital vsat dog swarm because that's just it's my favorite. But up until now I've been using the whole Orbital VSAT Lodestar Swarm because dogs really don't get you that many kills now that I notice. Because the uh, other team will just be sitting in a corner and they'll be using a light machine gun like an LSAT and they'll just be shooting away at the dogs and dogs won't even get a chance to kill them because they'll be killing the dogs and it's just crazy. And it, I don't even know. <laughs> it just happens like that. And right about here I was getting kind of nervous like I don't know just I was freaking out a little bit like it was a pretty good game I had very nice accuracy especially coming from playing PC I think this is a day where uh, the the Call of Duty free weekend came out and I wanted to try it really badly so I went ahead and installed it and I played some combat training matches because I was horrible at it and over the weekend I got very good at PC like I I was better than I was at Xbox let's just put it that way if I were to buy a, a copy of Black Ops 2 for the PC, you would see very good gameplays, I could assume, because I I went crazy on that game. <laughs> like, I think after I got the hang of it, 
Um, I would say every every four games there were people like calling out hacks and stuff. Once I got completely used to it, at least that was probably uh, around Saturday afternoon ish, somewhere around there. Cause I I definitely got it on Friday. I picked it up then, and then today on Sunday, since I slept in, um, my parents and everything were having a party, and I somehow slept through all that, and it was really loud. And I ended up just like pulling myself out of bed at four and. I was just thinking like, oh, I should go play Call of Duty on the PC before it, uh, before the time runs out. But I didn't realize that it said that you can only play up until Sunday, 1 p.m. PST time, which I don't know what PST really means or what it is for my time. Uh, but I, all I knew that it wasn't working anymore. And on the Steam store, it said that it was up and running, but once you clicked on it, it just it just took you straight to the straight to the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 page, and it just kind of got me all depressed. I was so excited to go play it, and it was fun. Uh, but yeah, PC Black Ops 2 is very very good. No lag, and it was just fun to play all all together because it's very precise. But that was the end of the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed. 64, and I was trying to go for the 100 plus flawless, uh, of course. But uh, I wanted to ask you guys a quick question before this is over. Do you guys want me to continue this whole thing where I keep trying to go for cool gameplays and hard points and stuff, going for the 100 plus flawless, or do you want me to just go ahead and start the Swarm with Every Gun series? Because I feel like I could do the Swarm with Every Gun series and try and get the 100 plus flawless at the same time, although I'm going to be doing di two different game types. For the Swarm with Every Gun, I'm either going to be doing Team Deathmatch, uh, Free for all or kill confirmed. I'm gonna switch it between them three because for the easy guns, I'm obviously gonna go for like something more difficult because it's not gonna challenge me as much if it's kill confirmed. I'm gonna be getting gameplays all night, every night, or all day, every day, however you wanna say it. But uh, yeah, that is the end of the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please click the like button if you enjoyed it, and also leave a comment down below about your answer, what you want me to do, so I can do that for next weekend and stuff, and try and get myself back into shape and, and schedule and things like that. But yeah, once again, end of the video. Do all that stuff. Love you guys. And hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya. Let it roll.